Hey everybody, this is Matt with Two Feet Two Worlds and today I'm reviewing a new couch that we got. This couch is a chaise lounge bed storage couch from Guangdong Foshan Yoyang Furniture Corporation. The decision to get a couch uh, was, kind of, was kind of tough at first because in China there's not a lot of options for couches. If you go on Taobao, you have uh, options to choose from. Uh, Ikea does have a store on there. The issue is that where we are, they don't really deliver out here. It's either too expensive or uh, they just actually just cancel uh, the order. We actually ordered a couch and the next day they refunded us the money because they didn't want to send it out here. So we chose to go to a furniture store near us and we visited a lot of them. Finally, on the last day when we actually bought this couch, uh, there was a store that we hadn't been to yet. We decided to go in and that's where we bought it from. They had a catalog, we chose the color we wanted, we chose the options. This couch, uh, if we would have bought it on Taobao, would have probably cost more than what we paid at the furniture store. And the reason for that is because of shipping. We live far away in Hainan and Huangliu. To ship it to us would have cost about 900 yuan. And that's a lot of extra money. This is what we bought. It came about a week later, they delivered it to our house, they brought it up the elevator, they installed it, and we were using it that day. So the process was very easy, especially from the company that we bought from. Well, I guess now it's time to show you the couch. I'm gonna go over the features of it, the things we like, the things we don't like, and hopefully this video will help you to make a decision about a couch that possibly you want to buy here in China. All right, so here's the couch. We wanted a simple design and a simple color. Sometimes in China when you buy a couch, there aren't a lot of simple options for the fabric and the colors, but we wanted that. The one from Ikea that we wanted to buy actually was quite similar to this, but this one was cheaper and it has a lot more options and things that we like. First, I wanna talk about the cloth. The cloth is very nice, like a cotton or, I don't know, almost feels like a polyester wool. It's your typical couch uh, that's made from cloth, but it's very cool and very soft, and we like that. Next thing I wanna talk about is the cushioning. Um, the cushioning is pretty good. There's about, let's say two and a half, three inches of cushion from the wood. It's right here. Although it's uh, kind of firm, it has been getting a little more squishy as we've been breaking it in and sitting in it. The back cushions here are like a pillow. Uh, there's three of them that come with the couch. And then there is some squishiness on all of the armrests and the back here. Now let's talk about the size. You can see here, it's kind of uh, shallow when it goes back here. Uh, it, the cushions do account for a lot of the space in the back side. Uh, and actually when I sit, it doesn't feel like our other couch. So you can see here when I say the back is a little lower than I would want, it's lower than the pillows. And I know that's kind of the form that they're looking for, they wanted that. Uh, and you can see where the old couch came actually higher and that dark line that we need to clean, that's where the old couch came up to. So your head did get to lean back a little bit further, but it's not bad. When you put a pillow behind your head, it, it works out. Overall, the size is pretty good. I mean, obviously it's a chaise lounge, uh, this section over here, uh, so that you can lay out fully. Uh, and you almost would need an ottoman or a footstool uh, to sit on this section for long periods of time. But this couch isn't like other couches. The couch 
actually turns into a bed. And we use this a lot more than uh, I'd like to admit. I use this on a daily basis. It just extends the whole couch and creates a full surface where everyone can be comfortable and just lay out. It's very comfortable. Regardless of how shallow the couch is when this part is out, it's almost negligible when you think of it as a criticism because of the fact that it does this. Now I'm going to talk about some of the quirks and features of the couch, some things that make it kind of set apart from the other couches that you might be considering buying. A small feature of this couch, one that is pretty huge to me though, is this pocket that's on the side. I have two PlayStation 4 controllers in there, but it also has room for like a remote for the TV and also the AC remote. So it's right there at my fingertips. I can just reach into the pocket and get it when I need it. Another of the features of this couch that I really enjoy and my wife enjoys more is this right here. I'm just going to remove these pillows. The Chase Lounge right here is actually storage. You can put blankets and all sorts of things in here that you would need. And as I'm going to demonstrate, see how big it is. I'm five foot ten. I weigh 205 pounds and yeah. I can fit in it, just doesn't close. But yeah, it's basically pretty much big enough for whatever you want to store in there. Blankets, things for the bed, for when guests come over, a child that is misbehaving or something. Not that we do that or anything, but you get my drift, it's pretty big. One gripe I do have about it is it's a little hard to open over here. You just gotta make sure that it clears the side. I believe there are other section parts that you can buy with this. We just got the two. There's the chaise lounge over here and then the sofa part. But I believe there are other parts that make it longer that you can put in between uh, right here. And also another feature is this L shape right here, you can actually order it to go on this side as well. We chose uh, this area to keep it. Uh, we liked it next to the window and it kind of opens up this area over here. As far as the sleeping area, it's big enough. It's 51 centimeters by 80 centimeters. It's more than big enough for uh, two people. It's about a queen sized, I would say. The only problem is uh, I would get some sort of foam uh, cover for it. It's not the most comfortable sleeping situation. It's suitable, it's just not the most comfortable. But you might be able to fit a, an egg crate or some type of foam cover inside of the chaise lounge with the blankets. <sighs> so let's talk about price. All right, so we paid 3,200 yuan for all of this. It came with these pillows. We didn't know it came with pillows, but it did. These uh, yellow ones and these white ones came with it. Uh, everything basically that I showed you today. And it was 3,200 yuan. And I'll put how much that is in US dollars uh, below. But that was a very comparable price to things that we found on Taobao. And actually this was cheaper. The one we wanted to buy, I think was 36, 3,700. UN. So great deal, great price. We're happy with it. I would definitely recommend this and that furniture store probably will be getting more business from us in the future. Well, that's it for this review of the Guangdong Foshan Yoyang furniture L-shaped chaise lounge sofa bed storage combo that we have here. Overall, it's a great couch if you can find it for the price range that I was talking about. If you're able to go to a furniture store and find something similar to what I've shown, uh, it's, it's great for my family, we love it. Well, thanks for watching my review on this couch. And if you like the video, please consider liking and sharing it. Uh, if there's others that you think would be interested in knowing about it, uh, share it on social media, whatever you would like to share it on. 
uh, I would appreciate that. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot more reviews, uh, adventures, different things that I do on my channel. Check out some of my other content. I'll see you on the next adventure.